closed loop insulin delivery is the future of type 1 diabetes management. Type 1 diabetes is when somebody does not produce their own insulin. Insulin is the key hormone that manages blood glucose levels. It is produced in the pancreas. People with type 1 diabetes have had an autoimmune response, which means that their body kills its own cells. And it's targeted in type 1 diabetes at the beta cells, which are the cells that produce insulin. So prior to us developing artificial insulin, having type 1 diabetes was unfortunately a death sentence. Insulin was discovered in 1922. And you can see from this picture here and from the archives, uh, this was a young boy who was lucky enough to be one of the first people treated with insulin. You can see him with his mother on the left, unfortunately close to death. Within three months of insulin treatment, you can see he's much happier. So the treatment of type 1 diabetes is insulin. Insulin is delivered under the skin via an injection or via an insulin pump. Insulin pump therapy is probably the uh, treatment of choice at the moment because it is able to deliver very small amounts of insulin throughout the 24-hour period uh, and be much more responsive than delivering um, up to five injections a day of bigger doses. People living with type 1 diabetes also have to manage and monitor their glucose levels because they're artificially administering insulin rather than having their pancreas sensing the glucose in the body and uh, producing the, the just the right amount of insulin. Glucose can be monitored via sort of a couple of ways, either via finger prick, blood glucose measurements, or via a sensor that's placed on the skin and measures uh, the tissue glucose levels and relays that to a handheld device. There are two type of, types of these, CGM, continuous glucose monitoring, and flash glucose monitoring. Lifestyle, your choice of diet, your activity levels, how well you're feeling if you're ill, will all impact on blood glucose levels and therefore in, impact on the dose of insulin. So type 1 diabetes is a 24-hour a day kind of condition. You can't just uh, plug and play like, um, I don't know, if you've got a thyroid condition, you just take your tablet and that's the last you think about. This is something people are having to count their carbs, sort of calculate how much insulin they need, think about when they need to test their blood glucose, and it adds a huge burden to somebody and their family about living with diabetes. Closed-loop therapy is trying to minimise that. So let's find out a little bit more about the CAM-APS system, which is one of the closed-loop therapy devices. Every day is different for a person with type 1 diabetes. Diabetes is hard to manage, and the CAMP APS FX closed loop system makes it much easier to achieve optimum management with least effort, including parents and carers. CAMP APS FX is a sophisticated smartphone app that is easy to set up and works seamlessly with a person's Dexcom CGM glucose sensor and a Dana insulin pump. The app uses an adaptive algorithm to continuously respond to ever-changing glucose levels and administer individuals' optimum dose of insulin 24 hours a day and works with Android smartphones. Can be used in preschool children and during pregnancy, unlike other closed-loop systems. Ease off function for active lifestyles. Boost function for when more insulin is needed. Remote monitoring to keep your loved ones in the loop. Browse readings and administer bolus insulin from the phone in privacy. The solution is made up of three component parts. CAM APS FX, Dexcom G6 CGM, Dana Insulin Pump, distributed by Advanced Therapeutics. All three components are required to deliver the clinical outcomes and need to be procured. Research has shown that those using the app felt less burdened by their diabetes and more able to lead flexible and spontaneous lives. More stable glucose levels day and night reduce the risk of diabetes-related complications improving quality of life and emotional well-being. This includes overnight control, better sleep, which can support the patient to be more attentive at work or school. APS FX has been developed over a decade and rigorously tested across all ages, including very young children and pregnant women. 
and the CAMP APS FX closed loop system makes it much easier to achieve optimum management with least effort, including parents and carers. So just to go over, the closed loop systems available on the market are all what we call hybrid closed loop. So there is something that the user has to do um, to help the system manage blood glucose. Fully closed loop is when the system is engaged and it takes over full control of blood glucose levels. But a hybrid one, you need to do, uh, you need to carbohydrate count and give insulin for that. So you can see this graph, one on top of the other. The top is glucose measurements. Uh, the green bar is 3.9 to 10, which is the target we're aiming for. The little green triangles are when somebody eats carbohydrate. And the dark blue columns are when the manual bolus is given for the amount of carbohydrate that has been consumed to try and manage the post-meal uh, glucose excursions. In the blue squiggly lines that look like the Manhattan skyline, that is the algorithm at work managing um, the, the glucose levels outside of meals. So as glucose levels rise, the algorithm increases its insulin delivery to match and prevent the glucose levels going out of target. As glucose levels drop, insulin delivery is throttled back, sometimes even down to zero to prevent hypoglycemia. You will be able to see after the boluses that are given in the dark green, uh, but blue that uh, the algorithm is also able to help post-meal levels if you uh, sort of aren't carbohydrate counting appropriately or you, you forget to bolus or something happens. And so just showing you here night and night with type 1 diabetes and day by day is always different. These are two graphs uh, from two consecutive nights just for, from one of our six-year-olds. And you can see on one night, glucose levels in the top are a lot lower and the system is only given about one and a half units of insulin over that uh, midnight to 8 a.m. period, where the following night is much higher um, and insulin has been uh, doubled, three and a half units of insulin. And so what is normally happening without the closed loop being in place is individuals who are managing their own diabetes or parents managing their children are always worried, what's going to happen overnight? What's going to happen? I'm going to try, predict as much as possible. I'm going to try, calculate everything and set uh, the rates in the pump or uh, bolus the right amount of insulin for overnight but it is never as accurate as an algorithm that can adjust and accommodate from minute to minute and so we hear this feedback from from people using the system that it's life-changing you know I can get on and, and be who I am not just somebody living with diabetes and having to to just concentrate on that I can prioritize my health as well as my well-being rather than just look at my health um the system is exceptionally easy to, to use. Uh, it simply needs body weight and average amount of insulin the person's using on a daily basis to start working. And then it takes over from there and continually learns what do you need at different times of day? What do you need uh, pre-meal, post-meal, irrespective of, of what other preset settings may be on the insulin pump that it's driving to deliver insulin. You can see a lot of the data on the app itself. This is an image of the app just turned on its side to be able to show you what's happening at this moment and be able to go back 15 days in time. It is also automatically uploading all the information to a glucose data platform called Diasend that the individual can uh, look back and, and find out more information. But key, it also is shared with the healthcare professional. So it allows a really collaborative working relationship between between the person living with diabetes and their healthcare professional to, to fine tune and improve on outcomes if needed. So please do come find us at uh, camdiab.com to find out more if you're interested. Thank you for listening.